Well, welcome on board this afternoon, everybody, here at Juma Game Reserve in South Africa. And it's absolutely wonderful to hear that we're linking with Mar the Mara Game Reserve as well. And great to hear James is with you. And Tristan is back from leave, and my name is Tara. And joining me on camera this afternoon is Senzo. Hello, everybody. And we are at the Hyena Den again. We have really try to get a be the best visual of the hyena for you but they're just on the side where there's a lot of vegetation there's a lovely breeze coming through so i don't think they're going to be moving too soon uh, it looks like little antima is actually drinking from the mother and they're both just passed out now and it looks like they are going to be there for a little wee while but interestingly enough uh, antima is probably around the six, seven, eight month old mark and it's still going to be taking milk from mother uh, for another few months yet. They can actually nurse up until about 18 months old which is obviously quite a long time for a mammal. So usually they get weaned fairly quickly. If you think about the cats they're usually weaned by about three months old and they'll start eating solids um, whereas the uh, cubs of the hyena uh, could get about eight months old they might start getting a few scraps here and there if they're lucky but they'll only really go and join mum out on uh, a foraging excursion in the evening when they're over about a year old otherwise and team is going to be sticking around the termite mound and you'll slowly start to see the vegetation uh, as Nintima grows up being chewed and torn apart and it's quite interesting to see a termite mound uh, that actually has had a few cubs in its day because uh, it starts off with a lot of vegetation and over the time it just gets torn apart. <laughs> Welcome on board Blue Shark. Great to have you with us this afternoon asking if this is a spotted hyena and yes it is But you can see Even now you can see it camouflage really well and that's why animals tend to have markings on their body and It helps to break up the outline of the body. So even predators if you think about leopards uh, They also have the spots of the rosettes and then obviously the prey as well It actually helps to conceal them from and when the predators are out uh, foraging for an opportunity to hunt it can help blend blend them into the vegetation so it conceals them away from the prying eyes of the prey now interestingly enough hyenas are highly highly intelligent creatures even though they don't always look it and unfortunately they have a bit of bad press but uh, there is actually quite a big uh, a dominance hierarchy involved with the hyenas. Uh, so you have the females are very dominant, they're dominant over males, so it's a matriarchal society. Uh, but they've actually proven that hyenas can work together and a high-ranking female is willing to learn from a low-ranking female. And they prove that uh, by looking at hyenas uh, in a confined area and it actually, they had to work out, they one had to pull a lever and one had to stand on a foot plate at the opposite ends of the enclosure to be able to get the food and they had to work together. And that if a subordinate female knew how this worked, the more dominant female would actually be willing to learn from the subordinate. So really quite amazing creatures. So don't write hyenas off, whatever you do. Uh, it sounds like Tristan has got a lovely herd of elephants for you, so we're going to leave the hyena, see what else we can find while you enjoy the elephants. <laughs> 